Castle Hill Pi logo, ladies and gentlemen. We got another Call of Duty game leaking out. That's right, my brothers. We are talking about Black Ops 6. Can y'all believe it? Listen, man. How many more Black Ops games y'all go have, bruh? But admittedly, I'm a little bit excited. I'm a little bit like a shaking, oh, if you want to oh, say. I'm shaking. A lot of people are shaking right now. We had one of the biggest leak, and it's, it's been confirmed by the homie Tom Henderson. Insider Gaming, yep, the same guy who leaked that Lucia Burna, and obviously we all saw the GTA 6 gameplay leaks, and the Burna is real! It is happening! It is coming! Although he was the guy behind Battlefield 2042 leaks as well, and we all know what happened. Uh, he was dead ass with his leaks, so that I have to say. But the game didn't turn out to be the way we all hoped for, at least in the beginnings. Right now, a lot of people are loving it. But what happened? What's the leak? Four years in development, guys? That's what we're hearing. Let's get into it. Let's go for six likes on the video because it's gonna be Black Ops 6. You know what I'm saying? One more time, guys. Let's do it, okay? So, Call of Duty 2024 is Black Ops Gulf War. Uh oh, uh oh. Presumably launching day one on Game Pass. That's what one guy is hoping for. And it is possible that it's gonna be on game pass we did hear that officially that yep eventually we're gonna see call of duty games coming out on xbox game pass but will it be next year will it be black ops on game pass remains to be seen don't let your dogs out guys but check this out right like a lot of people are excited stop calling call of duty black ops you literally destroyed and throw in the black ops engine my guy really excited Another guy says, I cannot wait to see how actors and screw track over this time. <laughs> and I've been black out. So, brothers are very, very excited. And this is by far one of the biggest news stories. And this is exactly why I'm a little bit, uh, how the homie would shake uh, or say, uh, I'm a little bit oh, shaking, guys. Oh, I'm shaking. This is exactly why I'm shaking. Because we're hearing that break in Windows Central is reporting that Activision is considering potentially offering weeks early access to Call of Duty 2024 Zombies mod why a pre-order wave? What oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Windows my Central also says that 2024 title will be Black Ops title, will be a Black Ops title set in Gulf War. Another guy jumped in and said that uh, another rush Call of Duty games coming, boys. Charlie Intel responded by saying that Call of Duty 2024 is the first title in Call of Duty history to have a four-year development cycle. I mean, damn, bro, say you swear to God. My guy's not willing to believe, and I don't blame him. He's trying to, like, go in gang, gang as you guys can see. Like, he's just fighting with everybody. He's responding to everybody. My guy, it is okay. It is perfectly fine. You do not need to prove yourself, bruh. You don't... Listen, if you like the game, you like the game. If you hate the game, you hate the game, bruh. You don't have to prove yourself, bro. It is fine. We all know the game is garbage. We all know the game is amazing. You're either gonna pick one or the other, and that's perfectly fine. But uh, we can all collectively agree that Modern Warfare 3 is a patch, right? But the homie, the gaming revolution, jumped in, and, and he's shaking right now. Trek have promised big plans, especially for zombies. There are a lot of other leaks that I wanna show you as well. And man, everybody's excited, man. Trek always succeeds at giving me a boner. Hey, yo, what? <laughs> hey, yo, what? <laughs> Uh, what did they promise exactly? I mean, they promise nothing. It's just that we hope that they promise. We want to just feel better about being excited for a game. So this is why we are like, uh, they actually promised us. They, they promised that this is going to be a good game. But one of the biggest story is that that the, the reason I'm excited for is because we're talking about Treyarch, right? Treyarch. Even with Black Ops Cold War, we all know it wasn't their project, you know, Slash were my boss, they were supposed to put out their game all the way back in 2020, yep, we were supposed to get Call of Duty Van Garbage all the way back in 2020, believe it or not. Uh, we also got hit by Roni's situation, uh, Slash were my boss, they shy as the bed, and instead of dropping Van Garbage in 2020, they dropped it in 2021, and Treyarch had to pick the, the their, their pieces, pick their crap, and work on it during the Roni situation, and Black Ops Cold War was the last solid call of duty game stop the cap right guys right i'm right you're right we're all right uh, special like button for that one but needless to say though like if this is really by the time obviously right now it's gonna be like three years right by the time the game comes out it's gonna be four years so this game better be a banger okay this game better give me a boner okay when i get to play this game better hit us in the g spot or else i will need my money back okay but this leak is coming from insider gaming says that earlier this year Insider Gaming reported that Call of Duty 2024 is going to be under the name code name Cerebrus and it is currently planned to be released on past generation console. I mean, damn, bro, like, 
just leave the consoles behind. Guys, what in the chat if this should be only on next gen, or I should say PS5, not even next gen anymore, PS5 and Xbox Series X, two in the comments if you think it should be on last gen as well. The first rumors of Gulf War setting first originated in 2022, and yep, we even had the concept art leak out last year as well, which we all saw, and yep, uh, it, it is indeed real. The new details from Windows Central state that the new game will be set in the Gulf War, with a strong focus on the CIA, although not yet officially confirmed. Windows Central points out that it's likely the next game will be called Black Ops Gulf War, which is the name Insider Gaming can corroborate as being dubbed the title for the next installment. One of the major new pieces of news coming from the report is the pre-order bonuses, and this is where it gets you a little bit spicy, right? Uh, that Activision hopes to implement with the next uh, title, according to the report, Activision is exploring the idea of weeks of early access to its Zombies mode. In its last two installments, uh, he's talking about, I believe Call of Duty Vanguard which was also included, Modern Warfare 3 patch as well, right? Modern Warfare 2022, or maybe not Call of Duty Vanguard, which I don't think it was Call of Duty Vanguard, which, but yeah, one week early access, and say whatever, but this is one of the, the thing that I actually liked with Activision, you pre-order the game. I believe even Black Ops Cold War campaign was a week early, if I'm not mistaken. But but the point here is that that you pre-order the game and you get to play that campaign a week early. But however, this is where like I gotta bring in the negative side because you know we, we are Call of Duty fans, right? We are Call of Duty players. There is no Call of Duty without the negativity. Smash the like button any facts, but. I love the idea that you pre-order the game, you get to play a week early, and that, that being the camp and, uh, camp and early access, you don't have to pay extra. I love that. Now we are hearing that they're gonna be doing the same, but potentially weeks early. So maybe that means two weeks, three weeks, maybe four weeks, maybe a month early. And then debatable, right? Like, that doesn't sound real, but that's the, the news right now. But let's say that's real. Will it cost extra, though? Because I would like to believe that they're gonna do a thing because we also had this report, right? This is exclusive. Maybe I'll talk about it like right after this story. But what I'm what I have in mind is that you know we had Starfield. I believe was it Hogwarts or Starfield? I might be mixing the two. But Starfield or Hogwarts, either one of the two, right? You could have played, you could have got the game three days early. I believe it was Starfield, but you had to pay like a hundred dollars. I'm talking about Franklin Benji. I'm talking about hundred USD, right? You pay a hundred dollars, you get to play three days early. I mean, wow, crazy, right? So that's one way for them to increase the prices of games further. And nobody is man. Nobody. I mean, listen, you can wait three days and you can buy it for seventy dollars. So if you're not a streamer and you're not a content creator, you can just simply wait three days. Or, or some, but I know some suckers are like really really excited to the point where they cannot even wait three minutes So they're like let me pre-order let me buy it So if did if they do that thing then I mean damn so you might have to pay like a hundred bucks to play zombies early I mean Sega's gonna pay early Sega's gonna pay early okay simple as that but Here's the thing, Windows Central, who came out said that Black Ops 6 is currently being heavily referred to internally by code names and according to multiple sources familiar with Activision, Call of Duty 2024 will support the Black Ops moniker and once again follow the uh, some of the West's more shadow military dealings. From what we've been told, Black Ops 6 will attempt to explore a nuanced narrative of the Gulf War with a critical focus on different participants within the conflict. Okay. As previously shared on Twitter, Insider Gaming Call of Duty 2024 will feature returning maps from black ops franchise including grind and wmd and uh, yeah we are we're gonna be having remaster maps once again ladies and gentlemen kill me now bro kill me now bro but i don't mind that too too much though as long as we have new content right as long as we have new maps then it's gonna be perfectly fine to have one two three four maybe five remaster maps bruh but games like modern warfare 3 patch Bruh, they're calling it brand new, charging people $70, and, and still having remaster maps, not even a single new map, that's just daytime robbery, okay? If we get that, bruh, it like, get, get mama, okay? But if we only get like one or two remaster maps alongside everything new, 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 then yeah, then that, that's fine, right? And we're also hearing that, we've also heard that Activision is exploring a large pre-order early access bonus for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 with several days for the base game. And yeah, this is where I wanted to bring in the Starfield argument that it was like $100 for three days early. Uh, so... I feel like the Activision is probably gonna learn from them, right? Where they're gonna charge seconds like a hundred dollars uh, for you to get a game 
like maybe a week early or two weeks early the entire game i'm not talking about like campaign early access but the entirety of the game but we're also hearing that and maybe even weeks of uh, weeks for access uh, weeks of early access to the zombies mode even that i mean listen i'm a massive zombies fan so if that's true that's that's true right like i'd love to hear that and, and the entire game being early access but i would have to believe that they're this like is gonna make it like a hundred dollars maybe they're gonna make it like collector's edition only but they're gonna cap their their earnings right they're probably gonna make like even standard edition uh seventy dollars uh, if you wait um, if you want to get the game at launch, which will be weeks early, that's how they're probably... They're just going to delay the game, right? A little bit. Release it probably early access in October. You pay $100 and suckers go buy it. I mean, it's a genius uh, genius move, though, because, y you know, the argument here... If you complain, the argument is going to be like, Well, bro, just wait like a week, bro, and you can get the game for 70 bro. So that's going to be the argument, and I definitely, uh, definitely hear that. Uh, but yeah, man, games are definitely going to be $100, guys, going in the future. We're probably going to see everyone uh, drop those early access for like $100, like a couple of weeks early. I want to know your thoughts on it. Admittedly, I'm excited for the next Treyarch game, though. It's Treyarch. One, one last time, guys. I, I know we say that every single year. It's hope you might get it, though. One last time, but don't let your dogs out. Recently, Nadia went crazy. And Pokemon went also crazy. Click on this video on the screen. These females be living on recruit difficulty, guys. Check this video out, and I will see you right there. Don't let your dogs out, guys.